My rock. His name is not Peter, his name is Bo. But he's our moderator, and we have some great technical people over there to help us out, including a remote moderator. Welcome, and this is an interactive workshop. So it's definitely audience participation. And now the floor is yours. Thank you, Mary. And I start with the uh, Kechuchis Duskovicis. And uh, he is project manager for Libraries for Innovation, the National Library of Lithuania. And uh, will you say a few words about you and your, what you're doing? Thank you. Uh, my name is Kestutis <laughs> Duskovicis. And, and uh, as you said, I'm from Lithuania, practically neighboring country, small neighboring country, across the Baltic Sea. Sometimes I'm coming with sailboats to Stockholm, it's not very far. <laughs> and uh, for me, uh, uh, digital inclusion, a boom of a vein, such a name is very challenging. Because five years I was leading the project, which was working with digital inclusion, not exclusion. And now, you are asking practically if uh, it was useful or not to work five years to, to do this inclusion. So, such words. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, just to make a little information for you, you will find the board chairperson of Sedinet Sweden <coughs> sitting in a. Hello, so we got two board chairs for Sedinet. It makes me not happy. Are you welcome? I, I represent the Center Net Norway, as you said, and for me, it, internet is a boom, and internet is a global communication and the source of knowledge and democratic membership of today's society. Since, since I have been involved in politics all my life, I realized that I wanted to fight the discrimination or people in the third act. So that's why I'm here. I'm not a specialist on anything, but I am here on behalf of people in the third act. Because our culture in Norway and everywhere, I think, do neither respect nor involve in society people in this stadium of life. Modern research has material proof that men and women from 60 to 90 years are a huge potential. We live longer, we are stronger, we are more healthier, more happier, more powerful, and have a human spirit. That should and could be much more useful, not only to the very person, but of course to the whole society, to be more civilized and more human. So the key to make this happen is to learn and involve grown-up people in the third age to participate <coughs> through the internet rooms of all time. Can I continue for one minute? Uh, well, let's do it for this time, yeah? Okay, I come strongly back. <laughs> it's a threat. <laughs> <laughs> I told you it was a cross promise. <laughs> well, well, let's see. Okay. Thank you so much. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm very happy to be here as so I represent the organization together against Azurprime. Uh, what we try to do, we work in France and uh, in, in other European countries and more globally, we try to develop the awareness raising activities uh, in order to fight 
against cyber crime and promote cyber security at individual level. So we have the, the particular focus on vulnerable groups and working <coughs> with the youth with um, social problems, with behavior problems, and mainly uh, raising the question of how actually promote cyber the, security culture among the, I think the discussion about the responsibility that just brought me into has been very nice for us to hear because you have pointed out both the individual responsibility from the end users and the responsibility from the public side and seen how it must go on side by side to develop this. And I think that's the most interesting conclusion you can do on this thing. And then we have made small jumps of the sides over time, but it has been very, very interesting. And we thank you for taking your time to take part in this panel, to give us that. And I'll take the audience, and I'll thank them, you too, because you have been interested in taking part. And then we will finish this with a nice applause for our panel. Yeah.